Hello there. Welcome. Exploratory testing. Whether we are an automation tester, SDAT, product manager, or just a tester, manual tester, whatever you call, we all do the exploratory testing. If we get any web page which we have to deploy in production, like which will be having any kind of user flow or registration, sign up, login, or payment page we will definitely do the testing at least one round of exploratory testing or you can say sanity testing by manual way before pushing it right and when you will be doing the uh, manual testing generally how we fill the data like for an example let's say this payment page we all generally don't remember the credit card expiry cvv so how do we fill the, these details like here okay name i have to fill anything i will enter here then card number so most of the time we always i'm sure like you all will agree that we do have these kind of uh, test card details saved somewhere isn't it like this and then we will enter this if we have a registration page or a user login flow or anything then how do we enter the values here because we cannot remember everything always so we generally copy and paste the value from here like whatever path whatever values you will be saving those you will be entering like this isn't it do you guys agree with this and if you have to do a lot more exploratory testing like some random value where this dot com will be missing or anything will be missing you will be hit and try or you will be having values from uh, value somewhere those you will be copy pasting here like mobile number field you will copy this and enter that value here so we copy paste those values from a place to our ui most of the time or else we will be typing manually some random value agree this is something like let me just try to make you guys understand something with this uh, example when taps were not there water taps were not there so what we used to do we used to fill the water from one place then pour it in a like big bucket or drum somewhere we used to store and then with those we used to uh, utilize that water for hand wash or something but the moment water tap came we had the pipe and the data this is a kind of like data the water is the data here we just take our hands in front of the tap and tap on water is right there so it is something similar like we are right now what we are doing we used to copy this data and pasting it here what if like we get the data right here in these fields itself here itself we don't have to go to some other window copy the data from there and paste it here if we get the data right here to paste it will not that be amazing and save us more time for us while doing the exploratory testing with different kind of data a lot more scenarios and whatever data we have or whatever data is required for our testing we get right here and just click and paste yes we can do that we have this product auto data filler here you can see that auto data filler it's a very simple free browser plugin you just install it in your browser and then you will get the option right there in your field to fill the appropriate value what you need let me show you how auto data filler fill data quickly while exploring exploratory testing so you just click here add to chrome it is available for all the chromium based browser whether uh, like these days all the ai based comet chat gpt atlas browser opera edge it is available for all chromium based browsers so you can install it from chrome store so you can see this five star rated tool more than 6000 testers already using it you just click on add to chrome button here add extension a very simple plugin no permission nothing is it is required so once you have added it here you see that by default you will not see the logo here for auto data filler in fact that is not even required to have the logo here if you want you can have that just click on this extension logo here and then pin it to toolbar it will be available here 
now you just open any page wherever you want to do your testing any kind of testing where you want to fill the data you can say exploratory testing or anything you wanted to do so that you can do like for an example i want to enter the mobile number here so what you do just right click and you see auto data filler option is here you move your cursor from here you see that wherever you found like okay number values are here you can see just click and paste the value here. isn't it amazing you want to enter the email right click hover email address valid invalid you see that hell lot of scenarios are available here which sometime we can't even think of while doing the testing so the simple one you can enter that dot in the address you click and this you see that value is entered there you don't have to open another window where you have the data or any application where you have the data you right click right there in the field input field or text area field and whatever value you want to enter you can enter you see that lots of options like name length with different language and all combinations available here so simply you can fill the value in any field on the form suppose you have a payment page or any form where you want to enter the value you just right click and here like uh, payment card so you have those options here whatever value you want to enter valid invalid visa like this you can enter them so this way you can quickly access the data you can quickly fill the data in your fields and just in a single click you can fill them and do your exploratory testing very fast without wasting any time and as well as you will get a lot of scenarios data for lots of scenarios like valid scenarios invalid scenarios corner cases you get the data which sometimes even we can't think of like in case of email id what all type of combinations could be there so that it will help where all this like sometimes when you will right click on any field and you see that auto data filler is option not available so it will appear only for two types of field input area input and text area where you can type some value right so this is an input area input field so here if you will right click then it will appear here like this one search box so this is an input or text area field then here you will get the option but if you will try to right click on any element which is a link where you cannot type some value then there it will not appear so this is a very simple tool for you to quickly fill the data in any field now you will have a question because right now you see that when we right click here and we were not having the mobile number field and we entered we used the numbers option from here okay but we want to use our data whatever we have so can we have our own data in auto data filler can we customize these context menu options so yes you can customize these context menu options as well how you simply right click get the auto data filler option here in the context menu and move your cursor to customize minus you click on this customize menu option and here you will have the option to edit the data whatever by default is showing in auto data filler as well as you can add your json data as well so here for an example we were having this uh, number field now in place of number we just want the mobile number field okay so you click on this edit here the value will get pasted here i will make it as a mobile number okay and then what value we want we want this value to be appeared there so what in place of like let's say zero i want to keep i will just replace this and rest of the value if you don't want what you can do like you just delete them so that it will not disturb us and now preview and save now if you go back here and let me just delete this right click and auto data filler and you see that here mobile numbers and two options are there you can simply fill this isn't it amazing so you can customize the data as per your requirement 
email id you want your email id you can fill that this email there credit card field if you want to have your data there in uh, in place of like credit card that you can add it here like let me show you one more example customize menu so here any of these values like let's say amount this is having five thousand five thousand dollar dollar sign is there we want like let's say our own currency currency here inr then preview and save now if we will go back here and just right click just for example i'm showing and you want to have this amounts in inr you can have this data now what if like you want to add some of your json on data so here you have this help docs click on this it will show you some of the sample of the data which you can enter and how you can enter that how it will appear in your context menu that is there like for an example we have this kind of json so you just copy this and come here paste your json here preview and save now you see that your added context menu option will appear here while the default one will be here default you cannot delete but you can edit them and reset like if you want to reset this inr to the default one you click and it will reset that okay the one options which you will add you will be able to delete them as well you can add it and delete so here now we have added this how it will appear let me show you just right click and here move so you will see that we have added gold gold is gold and new so this is how it will appear so this json will appear the data like this and in single click i can fill the value another one example like this amounts this way it will appear if you have a json like this then it will appear like this one so this way you will be able to enter the data here and you can add it customize everything you can do okay so if you want to customize anything in the context menu you can quickly do that like let's say this payment field was there okay credit card right now you have to to enter the credit card like let's say payment cards you have to go all the way stripe and everything but you just want your credit card right here okay so what you can do here like payment cards this one we want don't want all this data and everything here okay we just want a very simple thing to be here so that we can quickly fill the date uh, like quickly get the access of our credit card so you can just start deleting this and here let's say this is the value we want to have it here or just delete this complete thing you have a sample lots of sample is here so for an example we will take this one copy this sample json paste it here we will make it as credit card details and here credit card number the value you can paste from here you can you could be having the json of course so that you can i'm just showing an example here and then cvv let's say anything any value and then here we have uh, you can have expiry date as well and expiry date let's say any value you can have whatever you generally used to have review save done now if we will go back here right click and i will have the credit card option here cvv credit, uh, credit card number this i will click it and it will fill the value expiry date right click i will go here credit card expiry click on cvv right click credit card cvv i will so this becomes very simple now it's very quick easy just fill the value you want to make it more simple credit card 
you can just have these values right here without these naming as well i hope i will edit the correct json if it goes correct then it will work invalidation Should this way valid save and now we will come here now right click you see one more level simple now i don't have to hover again like two times just right from there credit card option is here and i can just simply tap because i know that this is cvv this is credit card number so this is how you can customize the option here in context menu as per your data so this becomes very very useful for your exploratory testing you can add your data you can customize the data you can customize the context menu as per your requirement and if you don't need some of the options you can delete them as well so it will be very very minimal this is auto data filler guys if you like this particular tool please give us a five star rating and some review here at chrome store this will really motivate us you can see that this is very very helpful tool a lot more people are using and those who are not aware they will get to know from your reviews by default one more thing it will like let's say you are doing some testing in incognito mode by default you will not find this here in incognito mode like if you open slack to serve practice page if you right click here you will not get this option so how you can get this option for this uh, incognito mode if you also if you have open any local html file like let's say for an example uh, this uh, local html file if you open any local html file in incognito mode or sorry normal mode how you can get that uh, check my links thing here in this your uh, local html file as well so for that what you have to do right click on the logo manage extension and here you see that allow access to file urls this one and allow in incognito mode turn on both these toggles now if you go to incognito mode you will find the uh, you will find it here logo as well as if you open any practice page here just right click you will get the option to enter the value so this is how you can use it in incognito mode simply very simple what you have to do just turn on those two toggles and you will get it in incognito mode as well as well as if you want in local html files then you can turn on this logo so you will have to provide these exclusive access for any extension to use in incognito mode so this one is auto data filler which will help you guys a lot to quickly fill the data in any input field or text area field you can customize the option and you can use it it will save a good amount of time for you all thank you please like this video and subscribe to the channel also check out these awesome informative videos and keep watching more videos on selector sub channel thank you